Oh, yes. Welcome back to another edition of the Cop Pizzle YouTube channel. You know the deal. The longest running, reigning New York Giants channel in the game. Nobody been doing it longer. Nobody been doing it harder. We're getting close. We're getting real close. And Duke Bothers... Baby doll, a long-time rival of mine, made a video to me telling me a sad story. Telling me a real sad story. You know, before I get to what Duke had to say, it's interesting to me how the football content has changed over the years. Well, how it started and where it is today. See, I believe that there are so many people that want to get on YouTube and talk about this little thing right here. They want to talk about their favorite teams, but they really don't know when they first start how they want to go about doing that. Some people want to do the copy and paste thing. They see something on Twitter, they pull it from Twitter, they paste it on a YouTube video, and they talk about it. Like that's creating content or something. Okay. Some people want to do highlight things and things like that. Some people just want to do live stuff and pretend like they're somebody and get super chats when in reality, they're just a mailman in some sorry podunk town. But there's somebody on YouTube, so send them a super chat. You see, baby doll, <clears throat> I don't hate that Prescott. I don't hate Micah Parsons. I don't hate C.D. Lamb. Why should I hate these guys, baby doll? I don't even know them. Because they got drafted to the Dallas Cowboys, I should hate these guys? That's not how that works. I mean, I, I hate the Dallas Cowboys, yes. But baby doll, my hate go for the Dallas Cowboys goes back to the early 90s. My hate for the Dallas Cowboys is not the players itself. It's the fans. This is why geeks like Mark Holmes, they don't understand YouTube. They don't understand what real content is about. It's not about you trying to sit there doing your tile work, trying to act like some football expert, giving out geek 15 videos a day, talking about, oh, oh, well, you know, I'm self-employed. Self-employed is just a silly way of saying I'm unemployed. You can make 15 videos a day because you ain't got a boss. You ain't got a job. But we're going to sit here and act like giant fans <laughs> are not important to you. Believe it or not, Cowboy fans, you need Giant fans, just like we need you. That's what makes Sunday so much fun. And you know, they, they, I don't, I don't want to sit there. It's not about me watching Micah Parsons lose or Dak Prescott. I want Cowboy fans who've been killing me since the early 90s. I want them to wake up Monday feeling that pain. The whole point of this whole deal is that I root for this team. I want this team's front office to put a team, a great team to go, together to go on the field of battle to beat the hell out of all these other geeky teams like the Cowboys and Eagles. I don't, I don't care about Dak Prescott. I care about the fan base burning, baby doll. I don't often hate... But when I do, I prefer to hate the Dallas Cowboys. That is because of the fan base. Dak Prescott wasn't there in the early 90s when this was injected in me. Micah Parsons wasn't there. CeeDee Lamb wasn't there. They were there. They've always been there. The fan base always stays with the team. The players go. See, everyone always says, well, Pistol, you make these kind of videos. You put out this kind of content. You can't affect the game on set. You can't do nothing. You can't. It's not, that's not the point. The point is, is I'm going to cook a geek like Mark Holmes for the last two years because I can't stand people like him root for that trashy ass team. That's what is my job. 
That's how I win off the field. And then my team wins on the field. See, that's the concept of what YouTube football sports content should be about. But go ahead. Make your geeky content. Live in this geeky world that we live in today. Live in this sissified beta male nonsense. Now, baby doll. Mm -hmm. Let me get to Duke Bothers. He told a sad story. See, I talk football, baby doll. Now we're going to talk life. Duke Brothers told a really sad story. His father passed away in May of this year. His father made him a Cowboys fan. And this game against the New York Giants on Sunday night football in front of the whole world will be the first game that he watches without his dad around. That's sad. That's a tearjerker. That, that, that melts in my heart. Because you know, baby doll, I'm raising two beautiful little babies. And I hope one day they grow up and be big-time Giant fans because it's good to be a Giants fan. It's bad to be a Cowboys fan. So I'm raising them right. With that being said, football is about making memories and enjoying life. And obviously, Duke talking about his father is a great memory that the Cowboys can give him each and every week. And he believes that his dad is going to be looking down from the heavens and watching the Dallas Cowboys beat the Giants on Sunday. That's going to be a hard pill for him to swallow if the Giants get the job done on Sunday. Now, I have to say this to Duke. I believe that there's a heaven and a hell. Anybody watching this video, you can believe whatever you want to. I don't care. I don't care. I do believe there's a heaven or hell, but I'll be, I'll be honest with you. What I worry about, what I think about often, and I've thought about this for a long time, when I leave this world and I go on to the next life, whether it be heaven or hell, I wonder, do I still get to watch the Giants? I think about that because when the day I die, does that mean my days of being a Giants fan are over? I don't know. See, this game on Sunday, as a fan, it could always be your last game. Because you, you, you watch the game on Sunday, and then some idiot hits you with a moving vehicle on a Tuesday. You just never know. And so, when I get to the afterlife... I have to be honest with you. I'm going to ask two questions. And those two questions will tell me if I'm in heaven or I'm hell. Because i got to be honest with you. Pizzle doesn't know where he's going. I, I, I don't know what ticket. Baby, do you got any idea what ticket I got? You think I got one for heaven? You think I got one for hell? Which one do you think I got right now? It ain't looking so good for the good one. <laughs> Notice she didn't say nothing, which means that tells you everything you need to know. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. When I ask those two, when I get to ask my two questions, I'll be quick. Number one, my first question will be, is my family okay? And then immediately after that, my second question will be, do I still get to watch the Giants play? That's the truth. The answer I get in return will tell me if I'm in heaven or hell. So, Duke, I leave you with this. I'm sorry about your dad. I'm sorry that he's not going to be there on Sunday. But I want you to know that on Sunday, the New York Giants are going to beat the dog piss out of the Dallas Cowboys. And I hope that if your father is able to look down 
and watch the Dallas Cowboys play. I hope that he has somebody else there to comfort him. Just like you're going to need comfort on Sunday. You understand me? This is going to be hard on you. And it's going to be easy on me. And I'm going to love this moment. Because, let's face it, this game means absolutely everything to the New York Giants. We have not had great success against the Dallas Cowboys in recent years. You guys have absolutely got to enjoy success. Which, going back to your father, Duke, he got to, he got to live out his last few years of his life pretty much dominating the New York Giants. How lucky is he? That part you should be grateful for. But Duke, you and I, we have a, hopefully we have a long way to go. And our story is still yet to be written. But I want you to know, through it all, the New York Giants are going to officially announce themselves back to the world on Sunday night. Make believers, people are going to be believers in them again. And it's all going to be at the expense of your daddy's Dallas Cowboys. See you Sunday night. <laughs> Woo!